My hair? Thank you. It's very nice, and it suits you. Simple. Not like the elaborate hairstyles we wore in Orlé. They involved flowers, ribbons, jewels. One year, feathers were all the rage, and Lady my Louise decided just she needed to outdo boob. everyone else, and actually wore live songbirds in her voluminous hair. The turban um. was quite charming for a while, but you must realize, terrified little birdies often have loose bowels. And it got all over her. Poor birds. Yes, I don't envy them. She never washed her hair. But I was trying to say something Ew. nice to you, wasn't I? Oh, forgive me. My mind wanders so. It's just that I, I feel so comfortable talking to you. Like I could say anything and you wouldn't judge me. Oh, boy. You're mistaken your two for this one. Wouldn't I? Um, well, we are friends, aren't yes, we? very much so. I haven't felt this close to anyone in a long time. Oh, I really great. enjoy your company. Um. <laughs> uh, stop. Wait, no, but you haven't just company for the You are a treasured friend, Thank Liliana. I am friend zoned. <laughs> there we go. Hi, Liliana. Something I can help with? Um, yes. What's on your mind? Let's see. Why did you come My to Ferelden? My mother was from Denerim. And I consider myself a Ferelden. Mother served an Orlesian noblewoman who lived here when Orle ruled. And when then Orle took her back. Defeated, and the common folk began to resent the presence of any Orlesian. The lady returned to Orle. She took my mother with her. I was Did she go Orle, willingly or was she a slave? I was not till much later. Mother was always telling me stories of her homeland. I think she missed it. Then why didn't she go back? Was she not happy in Orle? She wasn't unhappy. We had a good life, and she liked Orle well enough. I loved it, though. Valroyo was so vibrant, colorful. Mother died when I was very young. Lady Cecily let me stay with her. I had no one else. She was quite old then, and she had me study music and dance to entertain her. It is unfair that I have more memories of Cecily than my mother. Aww. What was Cecily like? She was an elderly lady, very refined and proper. She had impeccable manners and taste, more so than a lot of Olesian ladies. Cecily was also kind. My mother was unmarried and with child. It was scandalous, and Cecily had every right to turn my mother out. She didn't. Strangely, the only thing I So she has no idea who her father is? Her scent. She kept this... dry flowers in her closet amongst her clothes. This could be Small bad. white Ferelden and wildflowers with a sweet fragrance. Mother called them Andraste's Grace. They were very rare in Orle. So I guess I know what I need to find for her. Something no, I'm not done talking to you! Yes? What's on your mind? Um, do you miss anything about Orle? I miss Valroyau. Unlike other cities where the people are the lifeblood and the character, Valroyau was her own person, and her people little more than decorations. There was always music in Valroyau. Streaming from the many windows, Valrayu. quiet refrain. I can't even pronounce that without the accent. Valrayu. And always Valrayu. floating above that all, the chant, coming from the Grand Cathedral. It was magnificent. So, is that the capital city? It sounds wonderful. Oh, it would take me a day or two to talk about the many splendors of Orle, her golden fields, her lush meadows. Of course, there are good things and bad and things. And that's about where Inquisition's Orle, supposed to like take place. Else. Or at least start out Sometimes with. Sometimes. I miss it dearly, and sometimes I'm glad I'm rid of it. And you will laugh at this, but I miss the fine things I had in Orle. Uh, what sort dresses, of Dresses, fine dresses and furs, and shoes, of course. One can't mingle with nobility with bad shoes, you see. Orle is very fashionable. Oh, well, good Almost thing I gave you those blue satin shoes. shoes. <gasps> but the it's shoes. Almost as good as blue suede Living shoes. with those ridiculous trends was worth it for the shoes. Um. Oh, I love! Oh, I love shoes! Um, were they ridiculous shoes? Sometimes. About ten years ago, all the ladies were mad for shoes they saw as large here. and heavy as bricks. But it isn't always that silly. When I left Orle, the fashion was shoes with delicate tapered heels and embellishments in the front. A ribbon, perhaps, or embroidery. In soft colors, of course. It was spring. Aww. 
Oh, that sounds lovely. I had my eye on a pair my shoemaker was working on. It was covered in pale blue silk with amber beads on the toe. The shoes made in Ole were exquisite. Not at all like this. Well, good thing I already gave you those shoes. You have in Ferelden. Yeah, just look hey. at them. Hey! They're comfy. They're sturdy shoes, but sometimes a girl just wants to have pretty feet. Oh, I could talk about pretty shoes all feet. day. But we have things to <laughs> do. Liliana really likes her shoes. <laughs> okay. Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? Um, I heard that our land is up in spies. I read it in a history book. And did you not think that this could not all minstrels oh, are spies? Most are just singers and storytellers. But some of them are are what we call bards. I thought minstrels were bards. Many use the two words minstrel and bard interchangeably, but to do so in Orle would cause misunderstanding. Bards are minstrels and more. Spies, as you say. Oh, Some say there's a bard order, okay. but I don't think this is true. Many bards work alone or in small groups, doing the bidding of a patron who pays for their services. If there is an organization behind it all, no one knows who they are. Except possibly you, because you don't tell me shit. Um, what's our service to do bard offer? What do you think? The infiltrate, steal... Sometimes assassinate. It depends on the bard. In Orle, there depends is much on the rivalry amongst the highborn. They fight over land, influence, and the favor of the empress. But they cannot do this openly because it is impolite. And in public, they wear smiling faces and pretend to be civil. <laughs> because it's impolite, so they, they just murder people and scheme to destroy each other. Yep. It is a game completely meaningless to anyone but its players. Um, you were a bard, weren't you? I have revealed too much, it seems. But it doesn't matter what I used to be. It is the past. Let's see. Why are we living in a closer seat I in rural Ferelden? I found myself in Ferelden. And I got her story. From bad weather ha, in the chantry. Ha, 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 ha. And when the storm passed, I just did not want to leave. I like to see the maker brought me here. Yay? You're gonna Something tell me things yet? With? Yes. I already know how What's to be a bard. Uh, well, maybe we'll have a video where we do all this Liliana's tales, but not right now. It's done! Yes. Hi. Um, I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Very well. well. Thanks. I'll discuss something Speak, you mentioned. Then, then I suggest we move on. Well, great. You're a big help, Sten. Oh, great. Oh, great. Hi! Hi, Morrigan! Um, let's save. Hi, Morrigan, how are you? I await your command. Okay, she likes me, good. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> um... Tell me, are you really Flemish daughter? I assume you were actually asking whether Flemeth herself gave birth to me. Truly, I do not know. I once oh, well asked then. Flemeth that she very has a really nice voice actor. she merely laughed at me. It is not inconceivable that she could capture a chastened man, or perhaps change to a more attractive form to attract him willingly. I find it more difficult to imagine her with child. <laughs> Good point. Um, she's not always as old as she as is now, was she? Fact, I remember her being younger once. She had <laughs> oh shit, hi phone. Like my own. Sorry. Long and lustrous. But how could that be if she is centuries old? Has she become wizened only recently? Or are the tales of her legend only that and nothing more? I do know the tales of Flemeth. Or Flemeth's she body swaps. Even though I have never met another, and Flemeth has always treated me as her blood. Let's see. She didn't seem very motherly. Must one be a doting and simple oh, great, I to be considered off. a suitable mother? No. Flemeth taught me everything I needed to learn. How to survive, the meaning of power, the truth of men. If other mothers do not teach these things, then I believe them the lesser. See, I suppose that's true. You suppose it's oh, true? Oh, shit. Tis true. 
To indulge in love is to indulge in delusion. Surely a Grey Warden such as yourself does not believe otherwise. I half wish I was playing a male warden just so I could romance her and piss her off. Ah, great. Um... Ugh. Oh god, Sony doesn't believe this. Oh god, I'm gonna hate myself for this. I Shit. see. Well, we all have our weaknesses, don't we? Ah, uh, okay, I didn't piss her off too much. <gasps> I await your command. She's still so, my friend. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> Anything we is the child mage? abomination you speak of from the haunted yes. castle? Yes. If what you seek is to remove the demon from the child without harming the child, there is a way indeed. There is a connection between the child and the demon, one which so can exactly be what to the demon's told me. true form okay. within the fade. There, the demon can be battled directly. Only a mage may enter the fade. It requires Lyrium and a group of mages to cast the ritual, neither of which we have, yes? And, had we those things, it would still fall on one mage alone to defeat the demon. No simple task, but there you have it. Thanks, Morgan, for telling me exactly what I already heard. Oh, boy. Come here, Alistair. I love you. Yes? <laughs> the way he says that. Yes? Of course. Why'd you keep your birthright you a secret? You never asked. That's a cheap answer. It hurt that you. It, I'm hurt that you didn't trust me. No, please don't think that. It's not that I didn't trust you. It's. Please let me try to explain. Yeah, <laughs> backpedal is, harder, Alistair. Backpedal harder. No, it was always a secret. Even Duncan was the only Grey Warden who knew. And then after the battle, when I should have told you. <laughs> I don't know. It when you should like have told me. Too late yeah. by then. How do you just tell someone that? Like you did? Just <laughs> it's come up, Alistair. You've been avoiding it. Um. Emma, by the way, I'm heir to the throne. <gasps> yes. Well, I suppose part of me kind of liked you not knowing. Really? Why? Why? What happens when people find out? They treat me differently. I become the bastard prince to them instead of just. Alistair, I know that must. But you are just Alistair to me, honey buns. My entire life, I never wanted it, and I certainly don't want to be king. Well, the very idea of it terrifies me. I got some things to tell you. I wants to be queen, so you're boned. Um, doesn't sound stupid at all. For all the good it does me, my blood seems certain to haunt me no matter what I do. I guess yep, I should be much. thankful that Arl Eamon is far more likely to inherit the throne. If he's alright. No, right. he's not. Not at all. I hope he's alright. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. I... I guess I was just hoping that you would like me for who I am. It was a dumb thing to do. Don't worry about it, Alistair. No harm done. I guess done. it's kind of a relief that you know now. I do like you for who you are. It just, it's just icing on the cake that I get to become queen. Maybe. If so, you become king. So, all this time we've do. spent together. Wait, what? You know, Hi. the tragedy, the brushes with death, the constant battles, uh -huh. the whole blight looming over us. Uh-huh. Will you miss it once it's over? What? <laughs> uh, makes me tear up just thinking about it. <laughs> uh, there'll be no more running for our lives. No more darkspawn. <laughs> The way he comes across no more that. camping in the middle of nowhere. Pretty I much. know it might sound strange, considering we haven't known each other for very long, but I've come to care for you a great Aww. deal. I think maybe it's Alistair because we've gone through me. so much together. I, I don't know. And so such a time because I immediately it. romanced him. Maybe I'm fooling myself. Am I fooling myself? Or do you think you might ever feel the same way about me? Wait, I didn't get to him to 100% approval or rating already, did I? No. Um, I think I already do. So Aww. I fooled you, did I? 
Good to know. Yay, more kisses. That... That wasn't too soon, was it? That'll be the title of this video. Aww. I don't even. I don't know. I need more testing well, to be sure. Well, I'll have to arrange that then, won't I? <laughs> Make his breath, but you're beautiful. Whoa. I am a lucky man. Now, <clears throat> let's get back to what we were up to before, lest I forget why we're here. Okay, that was adorable. How much approval do I have on him already? Let's check. Oh, wow, I have almost reached 100. What are the other guys? Liana's alright. Sten barely tolerates me. Dog loves me, and Morgan likes me quite a bit. <laughs> because I don't have her in the party ever. Your desire is my command. Whoa, okay, his voice has changed. Such There's as the they Grey are. Wardens. About Nothing the Grey else? Wardens, any. Your desire is my command. <laughs> well. We're in camp. Uh, Now's as good a time that as That is a talk. trap. Fair enough. Well, joining Off me in the tent then. question is a trap for him. You gotta wait till you're at 100% approval. Liliana, do you have anything to say about Something this current, sir? Uh... Nope. I think it wins the only one who has a comment yes. to make. Nope. Bye, Stan. And last but certainly not least, Dog, do you have anything to say about the current state of affairs? Have some pets. Aww. There we go. I think that's it. This is the end of this session. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and this is Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. See you all later when we tackle the Mage's Circle. Circle of Magi? Something like that. Bye.